This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fights. I'm William Mill. Delighted to be joined with Florian Marcou. I mean, a man that's just happened there, you and Chris Congo on stage. Um, other than that, how are you, mate? I'm very good, my friend. Thank you. Are you? Yeah, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. A little bit seeing all that kick off. But what just happened there with Chris? As I said before, because I don't want to discuss it a lot about that, you know. Uh, I don't like to talk. Most of the people here talk, talk, talk and don't do nothing. I, I cannot talk a lot, you know, why we should talk. I say to you something, she came, she gave me his hand, he said to me, when are we going to fight? I say to him, first of all, beat the guys that beat you, Kins, McKinson and Echo, and yeah, then we can start discussing, because now I'm seeing other fighters. And I say to him after, okay, my friend, you can move, because I'm giving an interview. And he was, he was looking at me. I say, go away, man, that's why. If she was coming again, I'm gonna punch him straight to the face because what else we can we speak anymore? We are here, what else? Can we we are not shaking hands. Do you find it being disrespectful to you then by coming in the interview? Yeah, of course. No. I don't I didn't really care because he cut the interview because he gave me his hand, hi, how are you, blah blah blah. But then we finish a conversation. I say to him, uh, fight with this guy that you lost and we can we can have that fight. And he was staying there. She wanted to take some of some of the publicity because nobody really cares about him she sell like five tickets only his family <laughs> when she fights and that's the thing you understand she came here but yeah with me it's different i don't really care you know people think that i don't really care the character that i am inside the ring i am also outside the ring if somebody came and want to do something with me i don't care Obviously, you've got you know you've got your own fight to worry about. So, did you sort of find it frustrating him and trying to trying to spark someone when he knows you know you've got a fight on September second? Yes, yeah, yeah. I I'm very focused. I can't wait for the fight of second September. You know, I don't see him. Uh, I don't underestimate this guy because he is his world title fight. That's with me, and yeah. Definitely. Well, we'll get on to September 2nd. Dylan Moran, um, a massive, massive fight for you. Another fight to sort of get back out there after a, a sort of bit of time off. How does this feel to be back out there and back in the ring and, you know, be an act again after sort of a year out of the ring? It's been one year off. It was a really hard year for me. Uh, I haven't used to be like this, you know, outside of the ring, you know, in this uh, thing that I, I dedicated my life for. But uh, now I'm really happy. I'm back on it. I'm training really hard. And yeah, can't wait, man. Can't wait. Being back in the ring, how big would it now if you beat Dylan Moran on a massive stage like this that, you know, you'll be getting these big fights that you've been craving for in a way? Yes. Yes, uh, he's a, a very good club. Nice to see you. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy in a, in a promotion like this, live on Sky Sports, on Boxer, in a big arena, in a main card like this, you know. I'm really happy, man. I can't wait for it. What happens on September 2nd when you face Dylan Moran? What's gonna happen? She's gonna try to run in the first three, four, five rounds, and then I'm gonna catch him. Then I'm gonna stop him. Then I'm gonna show him how I am. Florian, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. And all the best. And you know, keep out of trouble, mate. Thank you. Cheers.